doing the 3D depth map. I didn't watch the the video that explained it. I did the thing. The results were good, but yeah, it's just not viable, especially considering my PC takes like three minutes to render one frame. So I decided to find out a method that would work in uh, After Effects without needing Blender. So doing some research, I heard about the Mirror plugin, which can create like 3D surfaces. So that's how I came up with this. What you need is, of course, a clip, such as this. I, I don't even know. A depth map, so yeah. This is the depth map I got. Uh, as you can see, it's very flickery, which is bad, so I'm going to deflicker it. Apply deflicker, high speed. It looks a bit better, as you can see. Once you have everything ready, you want to create a new solid and apply the mirror effect uh, on it. You want to size it uh, roughly the same size as the as the comp. You would just go like 1080 by. Uh, you just go like that, I guess. But there's still some parts missing, so I. I ex I like to extend it a bit further so it just fills the screen like this. Then you just increase the vertices so to like five hundred something so it's more detailed. Um, I'm gonna go to the fractal tab uh, and select the amplitude layer as your depth map. And now you're gonna reduce the frequency to like zero or one and play around with the amplitude. And as you can see, it starts creating. This like 3D model, like kind of 3D depth map. So you want to go in the negative, so it's like it goes forward. If you know what I mean, I'll show you what I mean. Um, yeah, as you can see here, it's 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 going forward, and if I if I go in the positives, it's like kind of going back backwards in a sense so yeah and after that you're going to go in the texture tab and put the original clip as the, the texture layer so you yeah, now once we have this uh, 3d kind of effect what you want to do is hide this layer uh, make it 3d put the track mat here to Luma Matte, add some blur on the original. Like, yeah, this should be fine. You can already see it's a bit like it lacks light. If that makes sense. And now you just add a 3D light inside After Effects, and there you go. You got your 3D uh, light effect. I'm still experimenting with this, so if you know anything that could improve it, uh, please. Tell me, because I, I, I don't know what I'm doing, so, but yeah, that's it.